Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So we have a look at the US there, you can see there we had a particularly good day yesterday, real strong candle there, bullish engulfing pattern, smashing up higher above both sets of moving averages and the potential resistance at 17,895. Other technicals relatively neutral um, and we actually did manage to get up to uh, about 18,000 yesterday, only to get pushed right back down at the very last minute, um, but 17,895 could be the potential springboard for a move higher and certainly the momentum seems to be quite decent and today the um, nuclear uh, talks in Switzerland between Iran and a lot of the other world leaders are very much going to be taking centre stage. Today is the last day for a potential deal and that's where you've seen some interesting moves in uh, crude oil uh, Brent overnight. Good bit lower as uh, actually a lot of people doing the spread trade between Brent and West Texas right now as well. So uh, albeit West Texas is not down that much, maybe one and a half percent, Brent is a little bit different. So that's the outlook for the US 30 right now. The UK 100 didn't fare quite so well because of the slip in commodity prices and obviously the UK 100 particularly sensitive to, uh, to that factor because of all the miners on that index. Trading below 69.06. Uh, just uh, flirting with the 21 period SMA. On the right side of that just now, other technicals are relatively neutral. Uh, it might struggle to break above 6, uh, 69.06 unless the US 30 leads away. Looking at Japan, 225. Uh, Ash had a decent day yesterday as dollar yen broke uh, one tw- oh, got quite clo- uh, 120 right now uh, on its way up to 121. Decent move in dollar yen overnight as the US dollar seems to be gaining a little bit of momentum. Um, uh, a bearish engulfing pattern on the Japan, 225 so far currently there today. Uh, as most uh, Chinese markets took a little breather from um, yesterday's pretty decent gains. Um, if it finishes the, the, the session like this, this would be a, a very negative technical uh, signal, but you know we've only really just started the day in the 24-hour markets, but we're still bouncing around that 21 period SMA. Other technicals are showing that um, it's actually a little bit of pressure could do coming out. You've got a crossover on the MACD, you've had a cross on the RSI and the slow stochastic. So certainly from a technical perspective, if we don't get any more upwards momentum, it might peter out and come back down to 18,648. So having a quick look at dollar yen, as you can see, decent candle pattern yesterday as the dollar finally woke up. Um, we are in positive territory so far today, but only just not that much movement right the second. Moving on to West Texas crude for a second. Uh, you can see that 4330 is still the potential support level on here. Uh, floated around a little bit yesterday, down again a little bit uh, today. Um, crude oil inventories are due tomorrow, uh, and this will obviously be impacted greatly by the Iranian deal uh, if one is reached by the end of today. And it usually tends to be a, a period of brinkmanship in the last day. Um, a lot of commentators saying it's going down to the wire, it could be 50 50 with a lot of stake if it doesn't happen or if it does happen for a lot of regional powers in that area. So gold uh, on the back of that US dollar strength has uh, has broken through 1186, coming out close to that 21 period SMA. Um, this doesn't look too tasty from a candle perspective either. You've got uh, three declining candles here, a very negative um, kind of graveyard doji formation on uh, last week, last Thursday on the wrong side of the line. The only part of support is that 21 period SMA. Failing that, a move down to 11.37 could be potentially expected, especially if the dollar continues its advancement. Any uh, weakening stance on that will obviously help to boost gold. So moving on to your dollar, your dollar is weakening as um, there are big doubts over Greece actually um, not running out of money before any kind of major deal there is met. They've got three weeks to go. And Germany are now pushing the uh, the envelope in regards to um, what changes they're going to make uh, to try and show their commitment to the eurozone and also on their um, on their debt. And uh, that doubt there has caused the euro uh, to to really get hit hard. And obviously, the US dollar is advancing a little bit there as well. One o seven eighty six is the potential support. It's bang on that line just now, which also coincides with twenty one period SMA. Other technicals don't look that great, but they're not um, they're not giving any signals to sell yet. They were just a little bit above 50% levels right here, but you are just getting a flattening out of that MACD histogram, which could uh, coincide with a crossover in the MACD, which should bring a move back down towards one spot zero two. Finishing up with GBP USD, uh, you'll be able to see there, we've just broken one spot, uh, 48.13. It landed bang on that line last night, you're on the wrong side of it again this morning. Short term potential uh, support could be one spot 46.25. The other technicals are relatively neutral, downtrend still firmly intact. So economic data wise, you've got German employment data due at 9 a.m. UK time, balance payments, GDP. So uh, GDP and balance payments are going to be good for cable today if you're you're placing that trade. 
Uh, let's have uh, reoccurring alerts set on these two instances. Don't want to miss those, so make sure you've got that set on your economic calendar. Uh, you've got Eurozone uh, CPI data, so if you're trading Euro dollar, that one's going to be quite interesting from an inflationary standpoint. Uh, and then you've got CCI in the US at 3 p.m. UK time. Fast forward on to Wednesday, you've got Chinese PMI, Eurozone PMI, German PMI, and uh, UK PMI. Uh, and you can see there that we also do have the crude oil inventory, you don't want to miss that, and uh, domestic oil industry sales. So a decent amount of data due there tomorrow, some interesting data due today. As ever, keep your eye on the chart forum and insights to get the inside track from a global analyst team. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.